Hey guys, welcome to Heroes Online 2. I'm Olvar, and in this video, I'm going to show you all the gear trophy locations in Rosaria City in a way that hopefully is easy to follow without having to watch hours of game footage. Each gear trophy has an in-game number assigned to them. You can see it the first time you pick one up. I recommend you write down the number that appears when you find a trophy, so you have to backtrack as little as possible. It's a very big map and a bit confusing to navigate, so here's the system we're going to use. We're going to divide the map into small sections called blocks. Each of these blocks will have a letter assigned to them. Each gear trophy is going to have an in-game number and also a letter code that corresponds to the section of the map it's in. At the start of each section of this video, I'll explain what area we're going to be looking for trophies in, and then I'll quickly show you where the trophies inside that block are. It's way more simple than it sounds, so let's just get started. Block A is pretty easy to find, it's where the HA building is. This is where heroes get their first few missions. All of the trophies in this section of this video are going to be surrounded by this white fence. So as long as you don't leave this area, you should be able to find all of them. You'll be able to follow this guide as long as you have triple jump. Trophy 14 is inside this other building. Forty five is on the same building. For number 49, you want to go to the basement of the HA building. Block B is right next to block A. For this guide, unless I mention otherwise, the limit of each block is going to be the road. If you're still lost, Post of Jewels is probably the most recognizable building in this block. You're gonna need to open this trap door for this one. Block C is going to be this construction site. I'm going to try my best so that the next block is never too far apart from the last one. You have to go on top of one of the cranes. You're going to need triple jump at least for this one. Make sure you don't miss this one under the containers. You want to go underground for number 42. This one is pretty similar to number 24. Block D is right next to the construction site and the boxing ring. Block E is right next to the previous one and also the hospital. This one is pretty easy to miss. This gear trophy is a bit hidden, it's under the highway. For number 34, you want to go to the last floor of this shop. Block F is composed of two city blocks, the one where the hospital is and the one that has these three buildings. It's also where the level 55 hero quest giver building is, the one that has a bridge. Number 25 is inside the hospital. You want to go underground for the next two trophies. Block G is just a small building and parking lot that's near the hospital. There's one in this place, and also one on the balcony of this building. Block H is the park in the middle of the map. There's one on the top, and another one here that's pretty hard to miss. Block I is next to HA. It's a pretty big block, so there's a few trophies in here. It's the one with these three red buildings and the skyscraper right here. It's also the city block where villains get their missions until level 55. Since it's such a big area, I'm going to do a quick loop around block I. Again, it's the one to my left. Number three is on the top floor of this building. It's right next to these sleeping bags. This one is on the other corner of the block. There's also one near this building, it's easy to miss. And also on this building with a bridge. There's also one in this small park. 
There's also one on the top floor of the villain base. You want to go inside the villain base for the next two. Block J is pretty easy to find. It's next to the previous block and it's where the villain observatory is. Trophy number 9 is right below the observatory. Follow this path to get to trophy number 10. There's also a trophy at the top floor of this shop. Block K is the one where the gas station is located. It has a weird shape so I'm just going to surround the whole thing. It's also the one with this underpass right here. All the trophies are going to be in this block to my left. Number 11 is on the top of this building near the basketball court. Number 13 is on the side that's closest to the dojo. Number 15 is under the highway. Number 16 is inside this shop. And trophy number 17 is inside the gas station. Block L is this one right here. It's in between the gas station and the park. There's one on top of this skyscraper. And there's another one in front of the park. So these next three blocks don't have any trophies in them. I'm just adding them to kind of future-proof the video. If there's more trophies added and they happen to be in any of these blocks, I'll leave a comment down below with the block it's in and a small hint on how to get it. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen though because I don't want to be forced to redo this guy. It took so long to do. Anyway, this city block with two buildings is block M. This city block that has these buildings with bridges is block N. And this one is block O. Block P is the one with the skateboard shop. It's right next to the corruption raid. Again, it's the one to my left. Number 26 is inside this shop. There's a trophy outside this building. And there's another one on top of this other building. Block Q is the one where the police station is at. It's pretty far from the last one, but it's right in front of HA, so it's easy to find. So the rest of the trophies are going to be in the outer edges of the map. Let's go over them. There's a trophy inside a little cave behind this dojo. For trophy number 21, you want to drop down the hole that's near the corruption rate. This is near the skateboard shop in Block P. Around the same area, there's a hidden trophy in the sand. There's also a trophy near this boxing ring. It's behind this tree. There's also a trophy in a little cave near HA. This one is near the academy as well. It's pretty hard to miss. There's also a trophy near this mining area. This one is near Block J. It's a bit hidden. Behind this building in Block A, there's a cave. Just follow this path.
You have to press this to open the door. And that's all of them. Thank you so much for watching.